Uh, the rug deck was not playing chord, correct. The rug was, the rug deck was basically like the old, I'm gonna let you stop looking at my chest now that my kid is not here. Uh, you can find links to the teamer key list below the stream. Find a link to it on my, on my metery decks page. My string constant is out of date. I don't know what that means, Moto, but hopefully it's not going to bug out. Uh, this ain't super reasonable. I can't interact with our opponent, but uh, it's fine otherwise. Yeah, Michael. Just, uh, I stream off and on. I'm try trying to be more consistent now. We had a bunch of streams this week, just so we're getting things set up again, but I'm uh, going to try for at least twice a week. Take whatever this is. Hide that since we're not doing that anymore. Uh, I've been playing Magic uh, casually since. Um, Jeez, what's it that I start? I started playing very casually in 2001 with uh, Apocalypse, and then I started playing uh, competitively with uh, New Phyrexia. Cubs fan, I was up to play some Magic if we got time in between. It's modern, so usually rounds go pretty quick. Uh, the Infect matchup for this deck is uh, reasonable. It's not uh, great. Like, their nut draws can run you over, but uh, their average draw isn't unwinnable. Uh, Huntmaster is worse than Pian Corindalar on average, I think, so... Especially in a deck that doesn't have Snapcaster like this. Like, the reason why the Huntmasters went really insane in that one match get with the uh, Rug deck is because we had Snapcaster to continue flipping them, and that's just not something we're going to be able to do in this deck. <laughs> this was a very good draw. So the question is, what do I want to path? Um... I think I actually want to path the Eidolon, because we can cord for Pontiff to kill... Yeah, we can cord for Pontiff to kill the Lava Man. And if you're using Grim Lava Man to kill my creatures, that's fine. How do you like Eldrazi Ramp in Standard? Uh, I do st I'm do. i still planning to play the Black-White deck. Uh, I don't like Eldrazi Ramp deck just because you don't have any control over what goes on in the game. You're basically just like putting all of your cards on the table and asking your opponent, like, is this good enough to beat you? And that's not the type of deck uh, I enjoy playing when I play Magic. Correct. Wall of Blossoms is much better than Wall of Omens because it's on color for us. Just drew the Pontiff naturally. That's great. It's really good, actually. Um, yeah, I guess we'll go... Why not path on upkeep? I didn't path on upkeep because I wanted to play the voice of Resurgence, and we would have taken two damage uh, from his Eidolon uh, when we cast voice of Resurgence. And this is hitting me. Not surprised on that. It's possible that this line was wrong because uh, we could just combo him in two by going Resto into Cord. So this might have been uh, not necessary. Although I guess um, I guess Grim Lava Mancer kills Kiki, so that's probably probably fine. Uh, I don't like Vi Village Bellringer in this deck. Where do you file for compensation? Uh, on I in the Moto client, there is a button to click to file for comp. Uh, I'm just going to ship the turn back here. No reason to play into anything. Too much modern playable stuff in the set. Uh, Oath of Ness is probably modern playable. 
Okay, so we're probably going to win this game. Uh, even if he... He's just like a target's commanding us. Sweet. Yeah, so we don't have to take damage to cast uh, Resto or... Or Cord for Kiki. Uh, so one thing that's really easy to mess up here is um, we don't actually... I You see, I just put a stop on my upkeep. We don't want to Resto the Wall of Omens because... Uh, there's only one Kiki Jiki in our deck, and we don't have triple red mana right now. So we're going to cord for Kiki during our upkeep so we can't draw it and then not be able to cord for it. So we don't have triple red, so we couldn't cast Kiki if we drew it. Don't shut off my power strip, you little brat. So Kiki is going to target Resto, blink Kiki. He's a burn player, so he's probably going to make me click through it. Okay, he got the message. Sweet. Got a bunch of cards this matchup. Helix, Skite, Forge Tender, Lone Missionary. Uh, Fulminator's not good. Pontiff's not good. Pian Crindelar is slow. Revelark is slow. Eidolon is slow. And that is that is how, how we want to sideboard. Yeah, like I don't see what the point of streaming is if you're not gonna if you're not gonna talk about it. Like even when I stream without a webcam and stuff, like we still we'd still talk about lines in chat. You owe burn players an apology. Like burn players owe the magic community an apology. Uh, not during a stream. Uh, and actually, I'm, I'm I'm actually streaming from a laptop, so like if he shuts off the power strip, it's just gonna like kill my monitor at least. So we've got th we've got that going for us. String constant is out of date. What is the spell? That is a uh, a realm raiser for when the realm just need to be raised on up. Do you want one too? <laughs> this is the first time he's ever got mad. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm going. Uh, I have two children. The oldest is almost two, and the youngest is eight months. Declan's the younger one that you are seeing on stream there. <sighs> Why are my kids up at 10? Uh, it's almost 11 here. Uh, I'm a stay-at-home dad, so we just kind of let them have their own schedule. So it's not like they have to be up and ready for daycare or anything like that. This hand's super close. I think I'm going to keep this, because, like, if it is a green source, it's just so good. Um, Ashiok is reasonable. It's really good against, like, these crappy green creature decks, like what I'm playing here. Did you mean to get to 61 cards? We're playing 61 cards in the main deck, so, yes, that is intentional. Green source, green source, green source. Voice. Unfortunate. Play this. Shock myself. Ship the turn. Look, I hate losing to Burn. Like, it's one of my least favorite decks to lose to, so, like, I always have, like, the pile of Lightning Helixes somewhere in the 75. Uh, Tron and, hypothetically, the Eldrazi deck. Come on, land that casts Lightning Helix. Or Green Source. Court of Calling. Well, things... Things are not not going uh, as planned. Decisions to make. Yeah, I think I'm just supposed to ship ship here. I think we've got one more turn to draw mana. This hand was probably a mulligan. I don't know. It's greedy. Like, we're up a game. I'm more inclined to keep speculative hands when we're up a game. Like, if we hit green source, like, this hand was just so good that I'm pretty sure we're a favorite to win. So I think it's worth risking it. All right. You get a redraw, at least, unless blocks. Uh, I don't think Tron's going to be that popular because decks like Burn and Infect are also going to be popular. Thanks, Worth. So, like, this is just, like, this is unreasonable variance. Like, we kept kind of a speculative hand, but, like, we've gone uh, three, four turns plus a cantrip. Uh, 
or three turns plus a cantrip without seeing any additional land. So like any land in our deck would have allowed us to start casting some amount of our spells at this point. So uh, hopefully our opponent's just a little bit flooded as well here. He didn't cast any spells last turn. Uh, I think uh, the Leon and Arbiter decks in Modern are wildly unplayable, is my opinion on them. So I've got Searing Blaze. That's fine. So we're taking five here. That's not the worst. So shock myself. Helix this guy while you can't skull crack me. I don't know. Like if we hit even if we even just hit like basic forest on the first three turns of the game, like we go roots into birds and like have cords and stuff online. So like uh, I think I think the hand was was keepable, especially when we're up a game. Uh, we don't know what good Eldrazi decks look like, so. Let's go crack. All right, so we're dead. That's fine. It took us. It took us five draws to find to find a third land. So you're, we're going to lose most games. We don't find a third land on time with against the burn decks. So. That's why the burn deck good. It's very it's very punishing. You're not you're not allowed to miss to beat. That's, that's why it good, honey. That's why it good. I'd like to play first moto. Um, this hand's real borderline. Two removal is probably makes it fine. We can fetch sacred foundry on one, and then we can fetch. Fetch Sacred Foundry on one. Fetch Basic Forest on two. How does being up a game affect mulligan decisions? Um, if the risk to reward in a hand, like, it, the conservative decision was to mulligan that hand last game. But uh, I think if we just hit a green source, we're a favorite to win the game. So, like, we're 19 out of 52 to, like, win the game if we draw it within the first two turns. So, this hand's really close. I think I'm inclined to mulligan it in a post-board game where we have helixes. I keep this against an unknown game one, but I think I'm going to mulligan it. Uh, this hand is medium, but better for sure. We get a scry as well, so... I don't like the Hate Bears decks because uh, just they play a bunch of just really mediocre cards in general. Opponent has kept his hand. We'll keep and a scry. Lone missionary. Sneaper. Sneeper. If he bolts our bird on one, that's great for us. If you don't like burn, play boggles. Yeah, man, bird's dead. Hmm. I think I'm gonna play voice on two here, actually. I'm just like snap off a block, whatever he does. Attacking. Goblin guide, sure. He doesn't really have good attacks here, which is great for us. He gets ship with everything, get three points of damage in. Yeah, that seems really bad. Lands. Come on, Worth. Come on, Worth. 23 land deck. Why not skite over missionary? Because I want to get it in while he can't skull crack us. And also getting missionary out here sooner means if we run some lands off, um, if we run off some lands here, we can uh, resto the lone missionary. Ships with everything. Get a little scry action, free forest, that's sweet. Um... I think we're going block 